Hey guys, New Blood here. Today I'm going to do a review on the Skate Road board. So when you buy it, you also get a few things with it. The ski tool, which is very useful in tweaking or taking apart the board. Um, you get these cards. Free VIP club. Yeah, uh -huh. It tells you a little bit about the board. And then obviously you get the board. Some of the cons I have with the board is I had some issues with the trucks on this board, but I contacted the people at Skatro and they managed to help me troubleshoot that problem. And another thing is that the bearings are kind of noisy compared to other boards. But they're still good bearings, it's just, you know, some people may not like the fact that it makes noise. On to the pros. When I ordered this, I ordered this the same day as, as the penny board. And this came in three days. I mean, obviously it's different for depending on your location, but for me, it came here a lot quicker than I expected, so that was nice. The customer service, I think, is also another high point. You know, like I said about the trucks, I was managed to contact the people over at Skate Show and managed to get the issue resolved. For the price, I only paid like 60 bucks, and you also get the free T-Tool, so that's always a bonus, because usually when you get a board, um, you usually, like, at least with Penny, you don't get, like, an additional T-Tool, so. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, well, I signed up for the VIP club thing, but... I don't know what's that gonna do, but you know, you know it's there. <laughs> so my overall thoughts are is that it's a really good board for the price. Would I buy it again? Probably. You know, especially if I already had like spare tools or, you know, parts laying around, and if I had some like a little bit of money, I'd probably get the skate drill board. But would I say, is it a better board than a penny? You know, it's it's kind of relative it's not like you know a lot of people on youtube say that it's better than the penny this this and that and it's like i don't know i think both boards have their ups and downs now if i want to make a suggestion to skate row i would probably say you know offer a little bit more variety with the colors possibly sell parts separately like obviously still keep the all together boards selling but in addition sell like parts like you know, spare trucks, decks, you know, bolts, what have you. And then possibly will reduce the probability of quality control issues if you're also selling parts separately. So, and maybe in the future offer like a 27 inch deck, like the penny nickel or something like that. I think that would also be pretty cool. And yeah, the reason why I have duct tape on the, like the, front and back of the board is just to prevent it from scuffing because I'm a noob and you know working with these boards when you're new it's gonna get scuffed and duct taping the ends is a nice way to prevent scuffing on the front you know it was like on the parts where it's gonna mostly get hit so so yeah this is my review of the skate row plastic cruiser board and I'll catch you guys later peace